this is Dr. Sean Frawley here at Beverly Hills Dentistry. I'm here with my lovely patient, Jackie. We're, uh, we're ready to have some fun today. We're replacing a crown for Jackie. Uh, she had an old crown here that we've been keeping an eye on that the fit's never been great where there's a gap between the crown and the tooth. Ideally, you want the, that margin to be as seamless as possible so it's not prone to getting cavity. So at this point, we're concerned that bacteria is getting underneath here. The tooth also had a root canal before, so there's minimal tooth structure underneath this crown, so we don't want to risk losing any more. So we're going to intervene today, take this crown off, clean out any decay bacteria, and then we're going to make a new crown all in the, the same day, so no temporary, no goopy impression material that's going in, in the mouth. And it should be a pretty comfortable process. I'm going to make sure that that's the case for, for Jackie here. So we'll, uh, we'll check back, show you how everything's going. Okay, so we're gonna get, get Jackie numb. So in our office, it's important to do that as comfortably as possible. Nobody likes to get a shot, but there's there's ways to do it where it's um, you know more comfortable than, than others. So one of those is putting a topical gel, to let that sit there for a second so that you're numbing the outside. And then we use a, a mechanized anesthesia system to deliver the anesthetic in a very controlled, slow fashion so that it's more comfortable to the tissues around it receiving the an anesthetic. Also stimulate the area through through shaking technique that gives some feedback from the nerves around the area so you're not just on one one spot. And this tooth has been root canal treated, so there's no nerve in it, so we're mainly numbing the, the gums. And the gums are a bit inflamed because of the fit of the, the crown and the bacteria present. So you definitely want to get, get those numb so that you can work comfortably. We are going to get started, so we're first going to take the, take the crown off and mean that it's a porcelain fused to metal. Um, we do that in a controlled fashion by putting a little slit in the crown and spreading it and very carefully taking, taking it off. And then from there we'll see what's going on underneath there. So we cut the little slit, so so we put this uh, back here just to make sure nothing goes back. Sometimes when we put a little force on it, some of the porcelain comes off. See some staining there, so the, the bacteria has gotten under, underneath. Gums are not happy. There's some, there's some decay on the back side of the tooth where the opening was, which was our, was our concern. So there's the, some decay on the, the back side where the opening of the crown was, so we got to clean that out. Again, gums are inflamed. Just clean up the inflamed gum tissue and getting access to the from the most extent of the, the tooth. Sometimes you don't get a good fit of a crown if you don't, if you can't visualize the tooth and get an impression of the, the tooth down as it goes underneath the gums. Which is also the reason why we try not to, in our practice, we don't like to go underneath the gums. It's just more prone to problems and it's more aggressive to the tooth. Can you hold them big? Yeah. A little something for you to rest on. You okay, okay there, Jane? Uh -huh. Okay. 
Just a little vibration, that's normal. Okay, so we removed the decay and there's some old buildup in there. So we're gonna do a new buildup. Uh, and then proceed to uh, designing the crown. So that's where we took it off. That's what decay was, decay, old filling, old filling. Okay, so we use a air abrasion to clean off the tooth. So it's really nice. Okay, so now we're scanning the tooth that we prepared after we cleaned it up. Okay. Good. So we'll come take a look at this. We've got everything we need. Okay. So the computer's gonna take the digital scan and make a 3D model that we can design our crown off of. And being that the crown as a whole, structurally was okay, we're gonna pretty much copy the designs we know that works with uh, Jackie's bike. Here the Seric has calculated our, our model. Um, so you see here, we got really nice visualization of these margins, which is one of the most important parts of the crown. So we're going to draw our margin. You see here, we did a lot of gum work to be able to get this kind of image. If you don't get, if you don't clean up the gums and use a laser, use good retraction, you don't get a good image of the tooth here, there's no way that you're going to get a nice fitting, fitting crown, whether it's, you know, you're doing it like we're doing it using CAD cam or whether you send it to a lab, it's critically important. So this is the crown that before, so we took an image of the tooth before we remo removed the crown. And we like, pretty much like the way the crown looked. The problem was at the, the margins of it, so we're gonna Tell the computer. So these colors are showing the way the bottom tooth is touching it. So it's important that you have nice contacts and the bite is working in a, in a balanced fashion. Okay, so here's the crown. And here's a representation of the block that it's going to mill the crown out of. The uh, Ceric milling chamber. So we got our our block in there, which is a, a solid piece of ceramic. And now uh, the machine's gonna go with some diamond burrs, similar to in other industries, a CNC mill. This is very specialized for dentistry, but it's gonna take that CAD file and mill out the crown. We're now polishing and so what's important is these margins we have good imaging here, so this is gonna create a really nice seal. Um, so it's gonna last a long time versus uh, this one that didn't do so well, but it could be in a lot of things, the way the impression was taken, the way the crown was delivered, so it sometimes happens, but you had to try to control every variable to get the most predictable outcomes. Be cementing the crown is a really critical step and this could really make or break the whole, whole crown experience. Um, when we're using ceramic, we have to bond that in place versus cement that. The old crown was cemented. This is kind of like a 
kind of like a glue that creates a mechanical seal, but this is actual adhesion. So to do that, you need to have the tooth very clean. We've used a, an air abrasion to clean off the tooth, get all the tooth particles and different things that, uh, that are on the tooth um, that can interfere with the bond. And we have some there to keep moisture out. You need to really control the and you feel the moisture, uh, saliva that gets in between the cement, the tooth or the crown, you're gonna have a potential early failure or sensitivity. Um, so that's really, really crucial, crucial part. Okay, so the crown is cemented now and we have a really nice, nice fit. So in evaluating the crown, we want to see that the crown margin is flush to the tooth. So when you go from tooth, which I'm on here with the Explorer, and I come up to the crown, that's, that's seamless. There shouldn't be a catch or, or a bulkiness to the crown. because That's an area where bacteria is going to collect and irritate the gums, which Jackie had in, in her case, or create a cavity, which she also did as well. So nice, nice and flush. And that is gonna ensure the crown is gonna last the maximum amount of time. Same thing on the other side, nice and flush. Sometimes you notice as soon as you floss one of your crowns, it'll kind of catch or feel a little, little bit strange. And that's usually where the, the margin where the crown meets the tooth. That if there's a gap, it's bulky, it's shy of the tooth. One of those instances. Okay, so now we're gonna check the bite. Open. Bite and squeeze. Bite and squeeze. Bite and squeeze. Okay, good. So the fit is excellent. Don't need to make any adjustments to the bite. Okay, so we finished up our procedure today. I hope it wasn't, uh, wasn't no, too, too bad. It was great, thank you, you so got much. To, got some good dentistry done today yeah. that's gonna last a long time, and that's, what, that's what's important. You're doing, doing healthy dentistry that's gonna serve our patients for, for years to come.